y'all for watching. Grab your Bibles and read along with me. That way you can read the words that I can't. <laughs> I'm doing my very best. I love his word though. And it does uh, absorb into this brain that's called mush. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, we're on Psalm 60. O oh God, Thou hast cast us off, Thou hast scattered us, Thou hast been displeased. O oh, turn Thyself to us again. Thou hast made the earth to tremble, Thou hast broken it. Heal the branches thereof, for it shaketh. Thou hast showed Thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth, Selah, that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and hear me. God has broken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide. Shechem and make out the valley of Shukloth. Gilad is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is strengthened of thy head. Judah is a lawgiver. Ooh, that makes some sense there. Job is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philista triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Ephraim? Wilt thou, wilt not thou, O God, which has cast us off, and thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of men. Though, God, we shall do that, uh, Vanity, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. We're on 61. Hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the convert of the wings, Selah. For thou, O God, hast heard my vow. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. We're on uh, 62. Truly, my soul willeth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. 
He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, and I will not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? He, ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. The only consent to cast him down from his excellency, they delight in lies. They bless with their mouths, but they are cursed inwardly, Selah. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectations is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I will not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory. And the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before Him. God is a refuge for us, Selah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a liar. Ooh, yes. To be led in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God has spoken once, twice, have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou Render us to every man according to his works. We're on 63 now. <coughs> <coughs> o oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My fat flesh longeth for thee in the dry and thirsty land. There is no water where no water is. To see thy power... And thy glory, so as I've seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. I gotta turn it. Well, I can't get that. Okay. Okay. Four. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate thee on the night watches, because thou hast seen my help, see, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice." My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand uphold me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be petitions for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Every one that swear by him shall glory. But the mouth of him that speaketh lies shall be stopped. Alright, we're on chapter 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayers. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the instructions of the workers of iniquity, who wilt thou tongue like a sword, and be been their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the per perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him, and fear not. They encourage themselves in evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? You know, this is what our government is doing now as they go in 
privately and they talk about what kind of laws they can pass just to keep us, you know, under their, you know, their, look, control men. A slave that doesn't know they're a slave is a good slave. Okay? And you got to look at, like, Bohemian Grove and all that other crabby crap. All right. Six. They stretch out iniquities. They accomplish a delighted search both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with the arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doings. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Now, I believe this right here part is talking about when he comes back. And all, because everybody's going to, hey, they're going to, they ain't going to be able to say, hey, I did this for you. All right, let's go to 65. <clears throat> Praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall a vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, thou shalt purge them away. Blessed is the man who thou choosest and cast to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of the house, even of the holy temple, by trembling things and righteousness. Um, wilt thou answer us, O God, of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and all of them are afar off unto the sea, which by his strength setteth fast the mountain, being greed with power, which setteth the noise of the sea, the noise of the waves, and the tempest of people. They also that dwell in the utmost parts are afraid at thy token. Thou makest the outgoing of the morning and the evening to rejoice. Thou buildest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enriched it with the river of God. Uh, hey, I got a lot to say on that one. <laughs> and it's all good. Uh, you know, he builds the earth. He waters the earth. And that's not only with the, the earthly water, but the water of himself. The Word of God is still going through. <clears throat> okay. Okay, uh, let's read this one over. Thou visit the earth and watereth it, and greatly enriched it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast provided for it. So, I mean, oh, <laughs> there's a lot in that one. Um, thou waterest the ridge thereof abundantly, thou settest the pharaoh thereof, and maketh the soft with showers, thou blessest the springs thereof, thou crownest the year with the goodness, and thy path drop fatness, they drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side, the pastures are clothed with flock, the valley also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy, and they also sing. All right, we're on 66. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praises glorious. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Though the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and sing, and see, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. 
Come and see the works of God. He is tr ter troubled in his doing towards the children of man. He turned the sea into dry <coughs> land, and they went through the flood on foot. Where did we rejoice in him? Talking about Moses. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt, exalt themselves, Salem. O oh, bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O oh God, hast proved us, thou hast tried us, as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net, thou laidest affliction upon our loins, Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire, fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into the, the wealthy place. I will go into thy house with burnt offering. I will pay thee my vow, which my lips had uttered, and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifice of fattings, with the in in incense of a ram, and I will offer bullocks with goats, Selah. Come and hear, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he had done for my soul. I cry unto him with my mouth, and he is exalted with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily, God hath heard me. He hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Alright, I'm going to quit right there. And I'm going to say, may God richly bless you. And also... I really appreciate y'all listening, and I know I'm not that great, and I keep saying it, but it does give me confidence when I see that, you know, people are watching my, my Bible. It means a lot to me, you know, it really, it really does, and I really do pray that God will richly and bless each and every one of you, all that listen. I really do love you. Hugs and kisses. Because you live, all fear is gone.